welcome back to Coco's World. So obviously this time of year I'm going to be doing my annual What I Got For Christmas haul and I know I haven't posted a video in absolutely ages and I really miss it but the reason I haven't is because as you guys know I'm at full time um, musical theatre college and now I have a job. So I basically do that at the weekends and then all through like my half terms and this Christmas holiday and I did it all through summer I'm working every single day and I'm a waitress and even though that sounds like an easy job trust me if you've worked in hospitality you know I am absolutely drained so even though I want to film YouTube videos like I get home at 8.30 on college days and then I'm working all weekend and I just I'm so tired and like I don't have the time so I've booked off like five days this week from work just to like have a moment to relax and to film a video so i'm gonna be doing my what i got for christmas if you guys are new here today make sure to subscribe follow me on instagram and tiktok and let's go disclaimer two things one my cat's kind of running around he's got zoomies and also i think there's a hurricane outside so if it sounds like my room's about to like blow away that is why i do apologize but i'm gonna start with like my favourite presents I want to say, so my sister got me this North Face coat. So I don't know if you guys remember, but my sister got me a North Face coat last year and I was absolutely obsessed with it. I literally wore it every single day, but the thing is it's cropped. So when it got to like December and I actually needed a coat to keep me warm, I couldn't wear it because like it wouldn't cover my stomach. But this one is a full length one and this pink is different than the pink in the other coat. And I just think it is so pretty because North Face jackets are like cool, trendy, but with the pink, it just makes it like so girly and cute. I'm just actually obsessed with it. Like, tell me this isn't the cutest coat and it keeps you warm, which is like a bonus. And then my next main present is basically a pair of New Balance trainers. And I already knew um, that I was getting them for Christmas because I helped my parents pick them because my Air Forces are absolutely ruined. I've got two pairs of Air Forces, the sole on both of them have just broken off, but I, f I don't have any other trainers, so I've literally been wearing them and my feet have just been getting soaked through, so my parents are like, you just need a new pair of trainers. But I didn't want to get Air Forces again, so the New Balance 530s, 550s or something, it's white with natural indigo, that's the colour, and then we ordered them and they came on Christmas Day, I got a size 6 but that was too small because I've got big feet. So we've ordered them in a size seven and they should be coming in a few days. Those will be so, so nice when they come. I'll definitely put them on my Instagram story, so make sure to follow that to check them out. And then one of my other favorite presents is something that I was very excited about. So as you guys know, I love the theatre. I love theatre, musicals, everything about that. I also do like plays. Mm -hmm. I also like Catherine Tate. And my favourite film is The Conjuring 2. Mix all those things together and you get a play about the Enfield haunting with Catherine Tate in it. I, when this came out, I said to my mum, I said, we have to go. And we both looked at tickets. I'm not even gonna go into how much these tickets were. So I'm not sure how my parents have managed to get this one out of the bag, but we are going to see it tomorrow at 7.30 seats row B. I, I'm actually like getting like shaky excited thinking about it when I tell you that The Conjuring 2 like is my favourite film in the entire world and I love scary plays like I've seen The Woman in Black the play like four times and everyone hates it because it's kind of the play that you go to on like a school trip but I never did get to see that like with my school so I went with like my sister ones I just loved it like the scariness like because I love horror films but like it in a play which is something that I also love it's just brilliant I'm not I'm gonna stop going on but I'm so excited about this like I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight knowing that I'm going to see Catherine Tate tomorrow but don't <laughs> I'm so excited. So now I'll show you the clothes I got and most of these were from my sister or one of them was from my mum but most of them are from my sister. So the first thing is this gorgeous jacket from Hollister. This is just so, so pretty. Like let me unzip it and you can see inside. It is just like all fur. It's so nice and soft. I thought it was funny how she got me the North Face coat and then this jacket. <laughs> I thought that was funny but the material, is it suede? I think that's the word. Um, but it's just so pretty like it's very like vanilla girl clean girl aesthetic it's so pretty actually obsessed with this 
And the vibe I said for my family was like I wanted vanilla girl, you know, that kind of a vibe. So most of these things are from like Hollister or Abercrombie. So she got me this top from Hollister. And I know it looks really plain, but this is just like the exact kind of thing I want. Like the, for college as well, like a nice pair of joggers and then just like nice tight, like put together tops. And what's good about these tops as well is I can wear them to work. For work, I've got to wear a pair of blue jeans. Well, everyone literally wears leggings. I like to wear my jeans. And then just like a white plain top and I've been wearing this to work. It is in my washing machine pile, but I did just get it out of the washing basket to show you guys, but it is like covered in berry compote from work. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. And then the other top, I actually picked this one out. It's from Abercrombie. It's just like another um, top. It's kind of like a jumper top, like it looks knit and it is just so nice. It's really thick, like a perfect winter top. Uh, once again, just like really simple, plain, like compare with anything basically. Like a nice pairing, like base piece, as one might say. Then Freddie also got me this jumper, which I also believe is from Hollister. Yep. Um, and this is just like a really nice knitted jumper. It's so soft. I can't describe it. Like the vibe I want is literally just like quite plain. Like literally like the vanilla clean girl. Just like, like a breath of fresh air almost. Because I went through a phase of like a bit of a grungy vibe which I kind of still like sometimes. Like if I'm going out to a party or like out to dinner, I'll probably like whip on those cargos. But I think like for everyday college, this is the vibe, this is the vibe because this, these clothes are so cute. And then my mum got me this corset top from Hollister. So she got me this color, but she also told me that it comes in like a dark brown. I love like the shape of it and everything, but I feel like the color washes me out a bit. So I'm going to, I think, return this and then get it in the other color, but it is so cute. The detail, like it's just so mermaidy. And then my mum got me lots of pairs of Nike socks because I'm very strange and I refuse to wear any other socks apart from crew length Nike socks. I don't know how to describe it, but like you will not see me in trainer socks or any other socks. Like this is all I wear. Um, and I wear them to like dance in as well, like when I'm dancing in socks. So all the socks of these now have literally just got holes around the whole foot and I've just been wearing them because I'm a weirdo. Because I'm a weirdo. So when we're just like, you need socks. This isn't even a Christmas present. This is a necessity. And then my granny got me these really cute pair of pajamas from Primark, I think. I just really wanted some fluffy pajamas and these are like Lion King ones. And these are the ones that are made from like recycled plastic. When I tell you, they are the softest things like I have ever felt. Recycled plastic, like I don't know how they're soft. I have actually no idea, but I'll take it, I'll take it. So now I'll show you kind of the more self-care vibe stuff that I got because I love self-care. I will always be a lush girly through and through. So my sister got me this bath bomb. I think it is a bath bomb. It might be a bath crumble, but this is the snow fairy one. I remember making these at like my lush birthday party when I was 12. And then my granddad got me one of the lush bath bomb gift set. I always see these and I've literally just never seen the inside of one, but these are so cute. Like, look, this one is literally like a snowflake. One of them's like quite a creepy snowman, but look how cute this like little penguin is. They just smell so nice. The problem is I don't really take baths because I've watched too many horror films and I'm kind of scared of Freddy Krueger in baths. So I will probably just be putting those in my drawers, which I'm not complaining about because there's nothing better than like whipping out a top and it's smelling of lush bath bombs. Hello. And then my parents got me this really, really interesting present. So it's called Skin Gym and it's basically like, uh, let, me, let me read it out to you. So the blue light is for acne prone skin, great for pesky zits and breakouts and the red light is for anti-aging redness and concerns so what it is it's, it's basically a light cover your eyes now i know it's bad to look at basically like a red and blue light and if you have a spot you just put it over it and hold it down and then like it should be gone by the morning or like the redness should be taken down and i've searched this up and a lot of people just say it's complete like bs and other people say it's actually really good and it really works i did try it and i do think my skin is looking particularly nice since like I've been using that since Christmas. I don't know if it's like a fluke and I don't know if I'll just get a really bad breakout soon, but I'm 
kind of liking it so far so i'll let you guys know if it's actually worth buying and then i'm really big on hair care as well and i know it's the trend now everyone's cutting their hair when i tell you i nearly went here again like recently i really debated it and then i saw a video of a girl on tiktok saying everyone's cutting their hair now and then when everyone wants to start growing out and having long hair like you'll already have long hair and i thought that's convinced me so I'm not gonna cut it yet, but I don't actually have any heat protectant spray. So my mum got me two. One of them is from Matrix, and the other one is from Red Ken. I think that's how you say it. And they're multi-use, so like anti-frizz, heat protectant, control, a bunch of stuff. But this one especially, this is one I've been using um, since Christmas. So nice obsessed and then my cousin's got me one of the Sol de Janeiro sprays I have the oh what is it salted toffee and pecan I don't know did I just make that up the yellow one which smells so nice like it's my signature scent now when I tell you when I smell this one instantly hooked honestly it really smells almost exactly I think of the Ariana Grande cloud perfume it just smells so nice like I can't get over it look since Christmas I've probably used a quarter or like a third already because I'm constantly like this it's just gorgeous obviously my sister had to pull through and she topped me up with my NARS radiant creamy concealer I haven't had this for about a year maybe it is I swear I've said in all of my videos it is the only concealer that actually matches my skin tone and can actually cover my spots or like blemishes or like redness or my under eyes. Like it is the only concealer and also that stays. I was using the Laura Mercier concealer and whilst it was good, it's just not the same. It is just not the same. Like this is honestly my holy grail. Like I can't, if you want a concealer, I cannot recommend this one more. It is expensive, but it's definitely worth the price. I think my mum got me this and I don't know what message she's trying to get me to receive but she got me tongue cleaners. I don't know what like secret thing she's trying to hint there. Do I take offence? Yes. Although I literally do already have a tongue scraper and I think she might have got me this because with my tongue scraper it's like metal. I've literally made my tongue bleed before because I scrub so hard so maybe because this is like, what is it? It's eco-friendly. Ultra soft bristles so hopefully I won't be cutting my tongue anymore. Maybe that's why she did it. Maybe not because my breath smells which would be a nicer thought. And then I got some loofers as well and then these pretty claw clips. And you see these are just so pretty because I have normal like black ones but these are just so pretty. Oh, I also forgot like two of my other favourite presents. Sorry Freddie, I literally forgot. So I was in Brandy Melville with Freddie and she saw this necklace and she was like, oh, I want this. And I said, oh, like, let me buy it for you for Christmas. And then as I was at the checkout, she just went, Coco, like, do you want one too? And I was like, what? And she said, to be matching. I don't know if you guys all know this, but Freddie hates matching. Hates it. Hates it. She calls it cringy or like a cringe fest. So when she proposed the idea for matching lockets, I jumped on that train straight away before she changed her mind. So we got these pretty heart lockets from Brandy and they're so pretty. They actually open up. So we said we're gonna put a drop of each other's blood in it or like a piece of each other's hair because we're weird. I don't wanna take it off to show you up close. I don't know if you can see it there. It looks like an old locket. I'm just actually obsessed. It's so pretty. And then she also got me, I can take these out for you, some more Hay Harper earrings. So if you don't know what Hay Harper is, they're basically a jewelry brand that make jewelry that doesn't tarnish. So for me, like I wear my jewellery to sleep. I wear it in the shower, I don't take it off. So like my normal earrings literally turn green or they turn black, but these ones don't. So I've got like a smaller pair because I've got two piercings in my ears. Whilst these have stayed nice and gold, whatever piercing I've had in here has literally just turned green over time and this one stayed. But I really wanted just like a nicer, bigger pair of gold hoops. So now both of my ears are now Hay Harper and these are non-tarnishable and just look how pretty they are. Like this one I'd say is just about double the size. Not like a big chunky gold hoop, it's like a really classy one, do you know what I mean? I'm actually obsessed with them, like I really, really love them. Now this present, when I tell you, I think it might also be one of my favourites. If you have watched Modern Family, you're going to love this. Me, I am the biggest Modern Family fan ever. Honestly, ever. So when I open this, I nearly cry. I got... A philosophy, a philosophy, a philosophy, 
So basically, it's in the episode where Haley goes to college and he gives her his Phil's office, and then at the end, all the family, like Manny, Jay, Gloria, Claire, they all read a quote from it, and they're just like the most stupid stuff, like Phil's rules to live by. For example, if you ever get pulled over for speeding, tell the policeman your spouse has diarrhea. It's just absolutely stupid stuff. Like this, success is 1% inspiration. 98% perspiration and 2% attention to detail. I just think it is so funny. And like Phil's my favorite character on Modern Family. Like I'm obsessed with him. I absolutely love that present. With the bath bombs as well, my mum got me this Stranger Things bath bomb because I'm just obsessed with Stranger Things. You guys know this. And it has all the uh, Christmas lights with like A, B, C, D. But I'm really curious that when I put it in the bath, if it's gonna be black or if it's gonna be red. Like, I'm really excited. I hope it's not just white. And then I also got two of these Charlotte Tilbury setting sprays. This is the best setting spray. Absolutely the best. I've tried so many. Charlotte Tilbury one's the best. Makeup does not move an inch. And then my mum also got me one of these hair, like, turban things. I have one, but this one is so much softer. And it says that it dries hair 20 times faster. It's one of these, like, you put it on here and then you wrap it all your hair around and put it on like that. Um, it's just to stop your hair dripping when you've just got out of the shower. I'm actually excited to see if it will dry it faster. And then my best friend got me this present. I just thought it was so thoughtful. It's basically a foot massager. And she said it was because like I've got dancer's feet because I'm dancing all day and then I on my feet all weekends working. So I need my feet to have a break. So you put your feet in here and it literally massages them for you. And there's like a heat setting. I've literally had this on like absolutely non-stop. Do you want to know what I do with my evenings? I put my feet in this and I play Fortnite. What a sad little life, Jane. And then Freddie got me this essential oil from the Psychic Sisters. She gets me this every single year. It's literally the nicest smell. It's rose and lavender. I don't think I'll ever get sick of this. She also got me some candles. So this one is from Typo and it says Daydreamer. Smells like you're in need of another holiday. I am. I should be going to Canada this year for two weeks with my best friend, so I'm very excited about that. And this candle is so nice, it's like a really nice, fresh smell. And then this is the other candle I got here. It's actually lit now because I've just been so obsessed with it. This is North Muse, basically. So this is a protection candle. Obsidian stands for the truth in all, a powerful stone that clears negativity and aggressive energy. So I don't know how I'm gonna show you this, guys. Can you see? There's black obsidian crystals in the candle. It smells so nice. My cousin got me this really cool candle. It's like a cool shape and it says daydreamer on it. I don't know if I'll actually like this one. It'll probably just be more for decoration, but it's so pretty. And then JJ, JJ just really knows me for some strange reason. He got me this Adenola tote bag because now I don't really wear a rucksack or even handbag to college or to work or around anymore. I always have a tote bag. And the one I'm using now literally has a trillion billion holes in it. It is just absolutely wrecked. And then Adenola is obviously the best gym wear brand ever. So having the bag is just so cool and it's so nice and big. Like this is massive and it fits everything. And he also got me some Adenola socks. I'm gonna like wear a pair of leggings and then wear these over the top. So like it's, you can see that it says ADA. And it's like, oh, she's wearing Adenola socks. I don't know why I get really excited about that. Sorry. Right, this next present I'm gonna show you is from my mother, just so we know. It's from my mother. And I'm just gonna lift it up Give you a minute to make a decision and then I'm gonna put it back down without saying anything. And it's going back down. I'm not really sure what mother mothering this woman's doing, but I'm gonna move on from it. And then obviously I got lots and lots of chocolate. Um, I've actually finished most of it which we will not talk about. But my sister did get me this thing of Nutella. It's actually the size of my head because basically whenever my mum goes out shopping now, um, I'm like, oh, did you get Nutella? And she goes, yeah. And then I look in and it's something like Tesco's own hazelnut spread, which I'm not complaining about because one, it's healthier. Two, it literally tastes the same. But I do miss like Nutella like does have like something about it that other, other places just can't get right. So now this is my Nutella. It's my Nutella, no one can use it. No one can use it. 
And then in a really offensive manner, my family got me classic insults because my family doesn't think I'm funny. They really don't. I think I am hilarious. Not to toot my own horn. If you hang out with me socially, I do think I'm quite a funny person. Uh, but apparently they don't. So they've got me these classic insults, which is basically just actually like classic insults. One is, I do desire we may be better strangers, Shakespeare, as you like it, from Oscar Wilde. But oh, to sit next to a man who has spent his whole life trying to educate others, what a dreadful experience that is. Sorry, I don't have time to ignore you right now. Just a bunch of stupid things that have been in like old books or old plays that have now been put into classic insults. So I have been using some of these to my family and they're still not laughing at me. So I don't think that worked, Josie. So guys, that's everything I got for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed. I absolutely love everything. I'm so obsessed. Like it was such like a clean girl, self-care Christmas. I was actually obsessed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! Sashay!